it's Lizzie from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Um, today's project is this one and it is a blatant um, case, as in copy and share everything, from an American um, demonstrator, BJ Peters, um, who shared this on her YouTube channel recently. Um, and I just thought for craft fairs, it is just perfect. And as many of you know, I will be doing some craft fairs very soon and it's perfect for the little Hershey treat bars now I found these in a local discount store um, and they come in a pack of five uh, I know that in the UK they are quite difficult to get hold of um, but obviously you could replace them with um, something that's easier to get hold of but as I found some I thought I would use them um, I have done some prep because well, you'll see why. Um, I am using the uh, Merry Mittens Framelits and Smitten Mitten stamp set. I think these are so cute. And they're not just for Christmas. I mean, these are just perfect for um, new baby cards um, and that sort of thing. And just winter anyway. Um, so don't just think Christmas. Um, yes, there are some Christmas, um, some Christmas images and stamping. Um, words. Words is what I'm trying to struggle with and struggling with my words. Um, but yeah, don't just think Christmas for these. These are a, these are a good staple, I think. Um, so I have already, on this one, I uh, die cut um, and did two layers. Uh, to be honest with you, I made the box and then did the die cutting and stuck it on because uh, I just wanted to prep that the box worked. Uh, this time I have already stamped the sending warm and fuzzy Christmas wishes your way. Um, and this is on uh, Blushing Bride cardstock. And this is with uh, Soft Suede ink, which, as many of you know, is one of my favourite inks. And I thought it went quite nicely with the Hershey bars that I've got. So I've got a right and a left. Um, it doesn't matter which way round you do them. Um, the other piece I have got, and this is where I've really done some prep, is a strip that is one and a quarter inches wide, and you want it to be kind of at least seven inches long, um, and then score it on each side at three eighths of an inch, um, and then I've just cut lots of little um, pieces so that it will go round the um, round the base here um, and before I cut it and before I scored it I ran it through the bone folder just to help um, get it to go in that curl so the other vital piece of equipment you are going to need is a silicon mat because you apply the glue to the uh, solid not to the strip um, and I'm avoiding the thumb area so for the thumb area, because this is only three eighths of an inch wide, and I think you will find that your fast fuse is wider than that, a tad wider than that, um, I'm going to be very careful to come off the edge of the cardstock uh, so that I don't end up with glue on the inside. So I'm going to miss the thumb for the moment um, and then just work round what I would call the easy bit, the straight, the straight as in not got a thumb in the way bit. And what you hopefully can see, but you may not be able to, is that because I'm on the silicon mat, the fast fuse doesn't stick to that. So you can just kind of fold it under. Um, so that means that you're keeping the, the um, fast fuse away from the middle. And then I'm just going to add some short bits on the thumb so that it's definitely away from the um, away from the thumb bit because we don't go around that. That really would be a step too far, I think. And then all you do, all ha, huh, all you do is just well, it is actually an all uh, is just run your strip round the edge. Um, and just be careful at the base that you get that curl by tucking in. So you want to make sure that you've got 
uh, quite thin strips round the bottom, as in cut, cut strips round the bottom, because that's where you need the, the most curl. And then don't worry about too much about getting it firmly, firmly stuck down at this stage, because uh, we will come back and deal with that in a moment. And then do that jump for your thumb, and then that's and that's the inside. And as I say, I will deal with that now, um, getting everything stuck down just with the bone folder. Just make sure everything's pressed well in place. Um, this was way bigger than seven inches. Um, so it was just a piece of cardstock that I had lying around that I knew was big enough. So this is the one that's slightly trickier because you've got to sort of hang it over the top. But the same applies. So let's go round. I'm going to come back and fix. I didn't put glue at the top. I have a skip at the top. So glue round the edges. And these would be perfect for um, tree, tree gifts. You could add a, a loop of um, baker's twine or something like that. Um, let's pop a piece there because I missed that. Tuck the hanging over bits of fast fuse in. Um, but yes, you could you could sandwich um, some baker's twine between your your strip and your glove. Um, so in here and have it you could have it hanging. Oops, don't do that. Uh, have it hanging from your Christmas tree, um, or just have it as a, a table gift or stocking filler, something like that. So for this one, you want to kind of get your your ends or your edges in so that it's kind of the right shape before you start. And then just attach it as you go. get in there and push, press it down for the moment and then I will come back in with my bone folder to finish it off and just trim away the spare bit and then I'll use the blunt end of the bone folder and just press those edges down and I don't know if you can see in there probably not but it's all nicely pressed down and then a little Hershey bar and another one ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed that. As I say, thank you very much to BJ Peters for the idea. Um, and if you enjoyed that, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you need any of the products, obviously, please jump over. If you're in the UK, jump over to my store. There's a link to that below. There's a link to close up photos and all that good stuff. Um, the associated blog post below too and that goes straight to the post for this video um, so no having to find it um, and I hope to see you again very soon thanks a lot for watching bye